Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm just going to be um, disassembling this, showing you guys how to take it apart and let it soak to get it cleaned out. Alright, so first off, we'll just unscrew this. And there is a wash right there, so it stays there, so I don't know if. Be careful, don't let it fall off. Alright, so you're going to want a Tupperware or something just kind of flat so you can put all the pieces in and let it soak in some alcohol. And I just got some alcohol, 50%, you get a stronger one. So first, you're going to take off this piece. Put in alcohol. Next, this piece. And this piece right here is after that. And that one will free up the needle. So take the needle off. And you want to be real careful with the needle because you do not want to bend it. And, um,. It's really thin, so you can see it right there. It's... I don't know if you guys can see it. it's really thin, so just be careful with that. Put in the alcohol. And we can take off the cap. Next, there's these two pieces this one. This one's after that. Put it in there. And there is a washer right here or a gasket. So you guys just be careful that don't fall off. But it's on there pretty good too. And there's one more piece right here. This little tiny piece. Be careful don't bend that or anything. But um, that piece comes off too if you guys could avoid taking it off. I would suggest you do. I had some problems with it. I took it off and it, I put it back on. It wasn't spraying right. There is a little gasket on there, but I don't know if the gasket is corroded or if it has a little leak, but I got it to work earlier. So it should be good right now, but after you get that that's pretty much it this this piece right here and this you can see that's all for the trigger so really nothing goes through there so it shouldn't get clogged up just the air goes through there comes out to here so you guys can leave that stuff but if you want to it is kind of tricky I have took it apart um, that comes out there's a little pin in there that falls out and then you gotta line everything up and there's a spring in there too so if you guys want to try that go ahead but after that get that apart just put alcohol in there let it soak for 30 minutes or more whatever you need and we'll come back in a minute all right, so after you're done, let it soak. Let's get everything out. You can even blow through here, and it may be end through right here too, if you want to get anything unclogged. So if you guys want to blow through there, this way, it'll be better blow through this way because there's a really tiny hole, so just blow everything out through this piece. So. All right, so you're gonna wanna just repeat everything you did in reverse. So get this piece. Be careful, don't damage anything on the, the tip right there. So let's do hand tight on that. Next piece right here. Hand tight. 
All right, so we're gonna move back to here. So after that was the needle. Be real careful with this needle. If there's any like corrosion on here, clean it off. Get like a little brush or something just to wipe it off. Cause sometimes they'll be, have some of the enhancement stuff on, dried up on there. So just be real careful, do not bend it or damage the tip. It's gonna come out all the way. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it'll come out through there. And then just push it through slowly and then it'll stop once it gets to the front. Okay, then after that was this piece. It can only go this way, the threads, with the threads. So just tying that hand tight. After that, it's this one. And then this. Just tie in this. You can tie in it all the way. I'll show you right now. So that's that. Put this back on to the compressor. This just spin easily on there, so if it's kind of tight, you gotta just take it off and start over. You don't wanna strip out the threads. So let's do a little hand tight, not too tight. And we'll put a little alcohol. And then we'll try it out. Okay, I have this all the way shut right here. So it's really not throwing anything out. I don't know if you guys can see it. The more you open it back this way, more material will come out. So do a couple turns, you guys will be able to see. All right, open a little more, then I'll let more material out. So that's kind of, you don't want too much material, but whatever you, whatever's good for you, that's what you know, will work for you. So that's it. So that's how you could clean it out. All right. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, YouTube, that's it for the video. If um, this video helped you guys out in any way, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys can also like, comment, and subscribe on my videos, check out all my other videos, see if anything can help you guys out. But um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And that'll be it. I'll see you on the next video.